What did we just see? I don't know, but I enjoyed it. As a uh, as a uh, heart heart attacking as it was, I enjoyed it. I, I'm surprised I'm alive. If I'm being honest, <sighs> you and me both. Like, I'm not even. I'm not even joking, bro. I don't know how I'm still alive. Pretty sure my heart stopped at least six times during this game. I just chase Claypool. That's all I can say. Dude, after he caught that one pass on the sideline where it was uh, the first down before the two minute warning, I, I couldn't say a thing. I, I was just like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Like, <laughs> no fucking way, bro. I'm still sweating. I'm- I, I don't even know. I, I don't know what to say. All I can say is this, um, and I'm calling in to say this: this team has a foundation they can build on. Yep. They just need to put it all together in a consistent form. And then they can produce and win more games. And then maybe down the road, we can talk about them being competitive for a playoff run. Right. But we need to see the consistency Facts. part of this. Yep, that's, that's It's one game I had to stop myself from being excited to remind myself that as fun and great as this is, and we're dying for wins from this team, we need to see consistency. I said the exact same thing before you even came on. I'm like... We won this game. It's great. I love the feeling because I don't know how many dubs we're going to see. So I'll take yeah. it. But, yes, th- this is the game that in a couple weeks we could look back on. Like, that's what changed the season. But I can't say that this is the game that's going to change our season because I can't say that with confidence. I need to see consistency yep. from this team, from these guys. What's astonishing mostly to me is how the fuck did we win this game with literally all our secondary members out? And this is our yeah, first, it, it, this is our first it, win without TJ Watt ever. I said this during my stream, bro. Anyone who said that this team was going to win is a liar. You're a liar. Yeah. You can say you predicted it. You can say you said it. No one, especially with all the injuries. Yeah. No one saw this coming. And I, Nobody. I, I even said at the beginning of our stream, you know, I, I said, I might as well change the record predictions now because we're going to lose this game. Holy shit, three hours later. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say, man. All I can say is Chase Claypool. Yeah. I, I, I do have some criticisms for Harris, and I'll probably talk about that on Tuesday. Right. Because um, there was a lot of stuff I saw from Harris today that really upset me. But Chase Claypool definitely improved, but we got to see it from a consistent point. Yeah. And then we can probably, you know, start looking at this team differently. Dare I say big play clay? I don't know. I think it's too soon. I think it it's is too, too soon. soon. It is too soon, but maybe for, today. You can say it today, yeah. hands down. Yeah, for today. That is yes. that's what we want to see from him. And Deontay Johnson can't be forgotten either. No. No. Great great game from uh, Johnson. Yeah. That's all great I'm thinking. catches. I'm thinking to myself, these are two guys that had multiple drops last week and these guys are just shutting out the noise, as Daryl Drake would say, man. And I, 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 Dude, Flores, I just saw uh, Flores in your chat, $2. <laughs> Shedded some tears. I lied to you not. There's a moment in, in, when I was streaming, I literally almost did tear, tear up. It was a little embarrassing. It just it happened. Is this, is this what we've uh, is this what we've accustomed to? <laughs> As I, I fans, this is what this is what we're accustomed to now. This is what gets us in tears is beating the Bucks when we're one and four. Fuck it, we got a one. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I'm going to need to. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna have to sit and just be quiet for an hour. <laughs> that, that's all I can say. Oh, my holy god. hell, man! Holy hell! How about? I'm sure the neighbors are gonna be pissed at me. By the way, how about? How about? Yeah, fuck them. How about? How about Mitch, man? Yeah, I, I put out a poll. Sixty-three. I think it was sixty-three percent of people said. Uh, Mitch couldn't lead us down the field. Yeah, I was in the middle. I didn't really have a. I didn't say yes or no. Uh, but there, he he made us all look wrong. Yep. I still think Kenny's the guy, though. Yes. But props to Mitch for doing so. Mitch came in and did his job as a backup, and props to him. He did. Yep. He got us to win. He closed the game out. Good bye. I guess you can call him today. Uh, uh, Mitch Magic, Money Mitch, whatever you want to call him. Money Mitch is what I believe a lot of people called him, yeah. Yeah, so, well, thank God that Mitch showed up. Yeah, I mean, I ain't going to lie. You know, towards the end of this game, I still wasn't feeling great. I wasn't feeling confident. I'm like, a Bucks touchdown's inevitable. They did score. Devin Bush made the play of the game in, in preventing the two-point conversion. I can't believe that. I mean, yeah. the dudes that don't normally step up 
stepped up. Yeah, they did. Football is so fucking strange, man. And it looks like as far as the AFC North, the Bengals are the only team uh, outside of the Steelers that are winning. So, Pretty much. Yeah, honestly, uh, this is... The Browns lost, and I believe the Ravens are... Yeah, the, the Ravens lost as well. Yep. Yeah, I mean this this whole uh, division's just it's been underwhelming to start the year, but it's it's all it's still wide open. So very wide open. If this team can grow on this, this will be an absolute just It's the foundation. It is. This, this be, is the game that you like you said, you look back at and you say that was the foundation. Th- this is this this could be the game we look back at weeks from now and say that's what changed the season. That's what changed the landscape of this team, man. I hope so. We got to see consistency. We have the, the Dolphins next week versus uh, the, uh, the Dolphins at uh, on a Sunday football. Tua should be back. We'll see what Pickett's status is as he should still be the starter. But huge props to Claypool. Biggest game of the season, and not just statistically, visually. Mitch. Absolutely. Coming in, doing his job under a lot of people's chagrin, but he shut he shut us up. He shut He shut me up for sure. And I, I've been shut me up for sure. I, we've been we were kind of behind Mitch I mean, to start the year, and then we're like, okay, now it's time to throw Kenny in. Kenny got hurt, dude. When Mitch came in, I said, bro, we lost. <laughs> I'm glad I was wrong. I'm glad I ate my words. But this man. is this is what we want exactly. You. This is what we want from the. And team. you can't blame us for thinking, oh, Mitch is in. Oh, we no. lost. Oh, the guys. Oh, we got many people out on defense. Yeah, we lost. This is you can't blame us. This is what we want from this team. They want us to shut us up. They want. We want them to make us hear our words, and today they did. At least, at least they today they did. But use this yeah, as the foundation. I mean, there is, there is some things you can look at and point out and say that wasn't good. But overall, and I said this, you know, towards halftime, no matter win or loss, I was going to give this team credit because they came out and they showed heart and they fought and they did what they had to do. And more importantly, if this is Tom Brady's last uh, stop in Pittsburgh. They send his ass home with an L, yes, and I can't be happier. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, I couldn't say it better myself. And all we wanted from this game was competitiveness. We wanted some some yeah. passion. We got that and then some. Shout out to this defense without a lot of starters, and they came in to eat, only allowing one touchdown. The Steelers led the game all game, all game. Opening drive touchdown. Of course, the offense fell back to sleep because Matt Cannon is a. Needs to go back to Canada or get shipped off to Canada. I'm getting tired of this guy. Most of my rants, most of my, Rob will tell you, I freaked out a little too much. Most of my rants during the stream was because Canada, second and 20, we throw a five yard hitch route. Yeah, that was when, that was when Trubisky came in. You, 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 you flipped your shit. Dude, because we're second and 20 and then you throw a five yard hitch route to Johnson. You walked off camera. You you, you walked off camera. Leading to a third and, but like, come on, man. Like, but thankfully, Claypool made the play for the first and, Another another guy that made a big play. Shout out to Connor Hayward. Now, yeah, he can't be forgotten. He had a massive play in this game. Forty five yard catch and run up the seam, stepping in as the number two. I thought he was going to score. I thought he was going all the way. Dude, he had he had field, and thankfully. And how about Sims? Yeah. How about Sims? Yeah, right? Steven Sims, all man. Special teams. I tell you what, Gunner, goodbye. Yeah, there's no there's no point to have Gunner on the team anymore. As soon as Calvin Austin is good and ready to go, you you get. And it wasn't Gunner. a fluke, man. He did it more than once. He did. He definitely did. Uh, Devontae Arnold says, "Whenever everyone gets back healthy, watch out." Mm-hmm. We no, hold on. I gotta say this because prior to the season, when I was over there for preseason, we talked about on paper. Yeah. We had the best wide receiver core in the NFL. Hundred percent. But when the season started. We just didn't see that because of inconsistencies. Claypool, Deontay Johnson dropping passes like last week. Here we are. We have a foundation to build on, and they can make us look right from our early predictions. Absolutely, man. I'm just I'm I'm still in shock, and I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that yeah, team. I'm gonna. Man. I'm actually gonna get off here. I'm gonna go get some food in me and and just think about what just happened. Yeah, I I appreciate you guys allowing me to call in and, and get my thoughts out real quick. Absolutely, of course, man. Of course. We're I'll all, call you guys when you get off stream. Fat, okay, uh, but we're all feeling the 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 vibe. We're all feeling the the good yeah. nature. The the Steelers dub. So here we go, Steelers, man. Um, just wow, absolutely wow. We'll see what the medical report is because there were a lot of injuries all game, all yeah, game for yeah. both. It was rough, but um, we'll it see. Was, if, it was. We'll see if Pig comes back, but we still got the dub. And next week we got the Dolphins in prime time. 
Hopefully, for prime time. We'll see if it's uh if it's flexed. Hopefully, it's not. But uh, hey, Steelers, props to you. I'm proud of you. You, uh, you showed hard. You showed fight. That's all I asked. And you, and got, you got the W. That's a bonus. Two and four. We stand now. This is the game that you just build on and use that momentum to resurrect the season, especially since we're getting Watt back very shortly. So, and the bye week's coming soon. Hey, you have to use this as momentum. Yes, no doubt. You absolutely have to, man. But Steeler Nation, let's ride.